All right, we have some really horrible news out of the state of New York. Forced quarantine, forced isolation is back into effect. This is absolutely terrible. Kathy Hochul and her government have passed draconian regulations having to do with forced quarantine and forced isolation. This is so evil. So the breaking news is the health dictatorship that Kathy Hochul wanted to set up, but was hindered a bit because of a lawsuit, is back in full swing. The forced quarantine camps are back in effect. So today I want to tell you what's in this regulation. We're going to go through it. I also have it linked up. Look in the description for my full article on this. All right, so let's start at the summary of express terms. These regulations clarify the authority and duty of the New York State Department of Health and local health departments to protect the public in the event of an outbreak of communicable disease through appropriate public health orders issued to persons diagnosed with or exposed to a communicable disease. Contact shall mean any person known to have been sufficiently associated with a case or a suspected case. Isolation shall mean the physical separation and confinement of an individual or group of individuals who are infected or reasonably determined by the state or local health authority to be infected with a highly contagious disease or organism for such time as will prevent or limit the transmission of the disease or organism to non-isolated individuals. Quarantine shall mean the physical separation and confinement of an individual or groups of individuals who are reasonably determined by the State Commissioner of Health or local health authority to have been exposed to a highly contagious communicable disease, but who do not show signs or symptoms of such disease. What basis do they have to take away our freedom and lock us up, especially if there are no signs or symptoms of said disease? This is completely evil. And they talk about home quarantine or home isolation versus congregate quarantine. Congregate quarantine means quarantine at a location operated or contracted by the state. This document also talks about monitoring people to ensure compliance. And of course, like always, the state employs the police to enforce these evil, evil laws. I'll show you that in a second. So New Yorkers can also expect to be investigated for disease. Look at this. Investigations and response activities. Every local health authority, either personally or through a qualified representative, shall immediately, upon receiving a report of a case, suspected case, outbreak, or unusual disease, investigate the circumstances at any and all public and private places in which the local health authority has reason to believe that such places are associated with such disease. So they want to see if the disease or condition exists. They want to ascertain the source of the disease. They want to identify unreported cases Locate and evaluate contacts of cases and suspected cases, as well as those reasonably expected to have been exposed to the disease. They want to locate and evaluate contacts of cases and suspected cases, as well as those reasonably expected to have been exposed to the disease. They want to collect and submit, or cause to be collected and submitted, for laboratory examination such specimens as may furnish necessary or appropriate information for determining the source of disease or for diagnosis. Their investigations also include examining the processes, structures, conditions, machines, apparatuses, devices, equipment, and material within such places that may be relevant. And then we have the extremely open-ended number eight, take any other steps to reduce morbidity and mortality that the local health authority determines to be appropriate. When a case or suspected case of a disease, condition, outbreak, or unusual disease occurs in any business, organization, institution, or private home, the person in charge of the business, organization, institution, or the homeowner shall cooperate with the State Department of Health 
and local health authorities in the investigations of such disease. Section 2.13, Isolation and Quarantine Procedures. Duty to issue isolation and quarantine orders. Whenever appropriate to control the spread of a highly contagious communicable disease, the State Commissioner of Health may issue and or may direct the local health authority to issue isolation and quarantine orders. So forced quarantine. And who are they issuing these orders to? Well, to all such persons as they shall deem appropriate. For the purposes of isolation orders, isolation locations may include home isolation or such other residential or temporary housing location that the public health authority issuing the order determines appropriate, where symptoms or conditions indicate that medical care in a general hospital is expected to be required. The isolation location shall be a general hospital. For the purposes of quarantine orders, quarantine locations may include home quarantine, other residential or temporary housing quarantine, or quarantine at such other locations as the public health authority issuing the order deems appropriate. None of this is appropriate. This is fascistic and pure evil. Pure evil. Whenever a person is subject to an isolation or quarantine order, the State Department of Health or local health authority shall monitor each person to ensure compliance with the order and determine whether such person requires a higher level of medical care. Wink, wink. Whenever appropriate, coordinate with local law enforcement to ensure that such person comply with the order. So send the jackboots. Send the police state. This monstrosity goes on. Continuing, it says, No article that is likely to be contaminated with infective material may be removed from a premise where a person is isolated or quarantined unless the local health authority determines that such article has been properly disinfected or unless the quarantine period expires. Any person who violates a public health order shall be subject to all civil and criminal penalties as provided for by law. For the purpose of civil penalties, each and every day, that the order is violated constitutes a separate violation. Every single day is its own violation. And apparently all of the doctors have to rat people out to the quarantine gulags. Duty of the attending physician stool pigeons. Every attending physician shall immediately, upon discovering a case of suspected, highly contagious reportable communicable disease, cause the patient to be appropriately isolated and contact the State Department of Health and the local health authority where the patient is isolated, and if different, the local health authority where the patient resides. So I want to keep this video short and to the point. This is the law that just got put back onto the books. It was temporarily suspended because of a lawsuit. But the lawsuit has been thrown out, and now the scene is set for all hell to break loose in New York State. These are disgusting, grotesque police state policies. Hauling people off based on pseudoscience? Nothing more evil than that.